Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma. Hey, I decided to vlog today. I haven't really been vlogging too much, so I just wanted to kind of like get back into it even though I'm not doing that much during the day. I at least wanna show you guys something. Um, so, I'm about to go on a walk with my sister. It's so early right now. It's literally like, I think, I haven't looked at my phone in a while. When I woke up, it was six. Well, I woke up at like 5.30, but then I went back to bed and now it's like six something. And I don't know why I'm awake right now, but I just thought I'd get everything done. I need to get done before I go on my walk with my sister that we go on like basically every day that it's nice out. Um, but I got some new stuff from Nasty Gal in the mail last night and I wanted to show you guys it this morning. One of the things is actually hanging up. So let me go in my closet and get that. Um, my jacket closet because it's a jacket for next fall slash winter that I really like am so excited to wear so I hung it up already but I'll start off with this piece I love it so it's on the inside it's like that like material that kind of like keeps you I don't know how to explain it that material that keeps you warm but um it's really soft on the outside and it's like this flannel jacket and I just really think that that would be so cute to wear in the winter time with like jeans oh jeans and little boots or like you can even wear it with like leggings and like a sweatshirt underneath it i just think it's the cutest thing in the whole entire world i love the flannel look and i've been looking for a jacket like that forever so you're probably like emma why did you get that jacket it's literally like springtime right now it's almost summer and you got a flannel jacket I'm confused too, but it was always sold out on Nasty Gal. Every time I tried to get it, it would always be sold out. And then it was sold out at like every other store that had one similar. And then Nasty Gal finally came back with theirs. So I got it and it's weird because it's springtime, but I'll have it for next year. And it's better than most because the outside of it isn't an itchy material. It's very soft and I don't like the ones that are itchy and like the material of it will get on my yoga pants that's like one of my biggest things i don't like is when i get fuzzies on my yoga pants so anyway that one's a really good jacket and yeah let's get into the rest of the stuff that i got which i have right here so i didn't show this in the try on part because it's pretty self-explanatory but i got a belt i thought that this was so cute just has these little um gold rings on it and then it's like a snake skin printed belt i realized i don't have a belt so i really needed to get one and nasty gal has perfect little basic belts so this one was the cutest one i found and then i also got two pairs of shoes and if you guys didn't know this about nasty gal they have the best boots ever i get all of my boots that i wear during the winter from there so i got two new pairs for <laughs> the winter time even though it's spring and i need to start buying stuff for the spring but i just can't let go of like winter and fall outfits so these boots are so cute i love the toe of them they're like a square he square heel well actually yeah they are square heel but the toe of them is square and then the heel of them is this big chunky looking square that's like this shiny material and then they are leather and they go up to like you're kind of like mid calf area and it's like tight to your skin. I've seen so many ones like this that are so expensive and I finally found a really good pair that is obviously more affordable, but yeah. And then on the side they have a zipper just to put them on, but I just really like a boot that has like this tight to the skin type of thing at the top because I just feel like it's a lot more flattering on my legs for some reason because once I wear tall boots or something i need something that's going to be tight to my leg rather than it being a little bit more loose and it makes your leg look a lot slimmer i feel but i do like wearing boots like this underneath a pair of jeans like not skinny jeans but the ones that are wider so it's kind of like shows that you're i don't know the boot i, don't, I just really like that look i'm getting way too in, de in detail but yeah and then these are the next pair of boots i got they're kind of similar to the ones i had just shown except they're not the ones that go like against your skin at the top they are still super cute and they're a little bit more different um and those ones were a lot higher than these ones but i feel like this is like the normal boot i feel like i see a lot of girls wearing ones like this either like white or <laughs> they have like those silver ones but um anyway they are just a normal heeled 
booty and it's like a pointed toe. I'm kind of really branching out with this pointed toe look here, but yeah, super cute. And the leather is like a really good material. Obviously it's not real leather, but it feels really nice. Like it literally feels like real leather. So yeah, those are the boots. Okay, on to the clothing. So this first one, you guys will see how comfy it looks in the try-on. I got it in a size medium, so it would be like a little bit oversized. But Nasty Gal has very good, just comfy sweatshirts that are, you can just throw on over anything and super cozy. Um, I thought that this one was very fitting. It says over it, but it's really cute. I love this color. It's like a tan color and the writing is in this little black writing. But yeah, I really like this one. It's so cute and the color of it is great. It's so soft on the inside and you can just throw it on over anything. I do like crew necks in the summer wearing them if I'm like going to sit at the beach for the sunset or just throwing them on over like a bikini or something like that. Super lightweight and easy for the summertime. The next thing I got from Nasty Gal, they do have very good basics that are very affordable. So this just black, it's a little wrinkled because it was just like in a ball in my pile. Um, but this black cropped t-shirt, it's so soft, you guys. The material is like no other. It is the softest material shirt I've ever owned um but it's just a simple little black crop top and i just think if you don't have a black crop t-shirt in your wardrobe you definitely need to get one because they just really go with anything like you can wear this literally with anything um and for reference in the try on i actually wasn't wearing was i no i wasn't wearing a bra underneath it so you technically don't necessarily need to wear a bra under it um, but you can so I get a lot of questions on whether I wear bras or not underneath underneath my shirts Not all the time, but sometimes <laughs> and then this shirt is the cutest thing in the whole entire world I saw it on the website and I was like I I need this um, It would be so cute in the summertime wearing it with a pair of jeans and little like sneakers or if I wanted to wear it like dress it up a little bit more I could honestly wear it with a pair of heels. Um, but it is the cutest thing ever is this little silk baby pink shirt. And then my favorite part of it are the straps. They are little rhinestones. Oh my gosh. I just think that this is so cute. I love how it falls on the front. It's kind of like this. And then the straps, just like something about that. If straps are like that, it just gets me and like I'm sold right away. Um, but yeah, this is the cutest little shirt ever. I'm so excited to wear it this summer and I think it's very, very cute. I've seen this a lot too. I feel like this is like really in the style of shirt right now um, and I just decided to pick one up. Okay, so the next thing I have is this bathing suit. This is so funny. Um, it's so cute and it's like a cow material. Well, cow look bikini and I just thought that it was really cute. I don't know why. I love this print. Um, I've never really seen a bikini like this before, but yeah, it's really good quality. It's just nice bikini. You can, oh wait, this bad, the bottoms are sideways. Um, but yeah, very good. Kind of, it's like half coverage on the back. Um, a little bit cheeky, but I really like tops like this when they look kind of like a sports bra. They're very supportive. So if you're wearing them during the summertime, like you can literally be doing any sort of activity. That's why I like wearing these. Um, but yeah, I really like the print of this one. It's super cute. I've never seen it before, so I had to pick it up. So last but not least, we have this dress and it is so cute. It's like a white linen type of dress. And it just is normal shift dress with these little sleeves. I love the ruffles around the outside and on the sleeves. I just think it, it adds something like a really girly touch to the dress. Um, I normally don't wear <laughs> girly dresses like this, but I'm kind of into it for the summer. Like I put it on and I was like, whoa, I can't wait to wear this. It's so cute. I love the ties on the front, these little like rope ties. Um, and it just looks so flattering on the way that it cinches at your waist It's like tight on the top and then it comes out a little bit on the bottom, but not really It still shows like kind of like an outline of your body almost um, But yeah, this dress is just super flattering and cute and you guys will see how cute it is in the try-on 
Can you guys like see how tired my face looks right now? I don't know if it's just me, but if you guys liked any of the things that I just showed you in that little mini haul, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Um, don't forget to check it out. Nasty gal in the description. And yeah, it'll be down below. smiling so big right now and no one can see. I literally didn't show anything after our walk, but we sat outside for a while and the lighting is so weird in here, but it's Cinco de Mayo. So we are making tacos and I don't, all I know is that Mexican food is my favorite type of food ever. Like I love chicken salsa. I love anything like that. So that's what we're doing. And I'm so excited. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys this, but my sister has been sleeping over lately. And um, so I got a new mattress for my bed. Clearly right here, new mattress. My old mattress is on the floor. I haven't moved it into my guest bedroom yet, but until then my sister has been sleeping over and she's been sleeping on my floor. Um, I mean, we live across the hall from each other. But like it's fun to have sleepovers sometimes, right? I'm getting ready for bed right now. And I like didn't really vlog much today. I mean, there is nothing much that I'm doing right now. So there's not much to show. But look, taking my sleep gummies that I take every single night because I don't sleep. Like, well, I do sleep, but I just can't fall asleep. Like once my head hits the pillow, I feel like nighttime is when I'm the most like when my thoughts just run the most and I'm honestly the most creative. I like think of a lot of things that I want to do or like videos I want to film, stuff like that. That's why I do keep a notebook next to my bed because right before bed, if I think of anything that I want to write down, I like to write it down. But I've been taking two gummies, helps me sleep. And I also write down what I'm grateful for. I do it every morning. But I forgot this morning. My mom like FaceTimed me this morning and I woke up to that. So I couldn't. So I'm going to do that right now. I like to write it down and I like to say it out loud just to put it into my thoughts. But yeah, now I'm going to write down what I am grateful for. All right. Now what's next in my night routine? Do I need to put leave-in conditioner in my hair tonight? I don't think so, my hair is good. I have been doing that a lot. I've been using my Function of Beauty leave-in conditioner and it's really been making my hair super healthy. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell a difference or if it's just me that can tell a difference, but my hair has been a lot healthier. One thing I do need to tackle before I fall asleep tonight is my laundry that I haven't put away. So I did all my laundry today I literally haven't put a single thing of it away and that's what I need to do so there it is right there and so I'm gonna do that on my clean laundry which is on the floor my floors are clean so like it's fine but I need to put it away I like tend to just for not forget but I just am too lazy to even put it away that I'm like Ugh, I avoid it at all costs but I'm gonna do that now and then go to bed so I'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the next day and I just woke up not too long ago, kind of. 
Um, but I read my book this morning and now, oh my gosh, I have 27 missed messages from my group message with me, Maggie, and Gretchen. And I have eight messages from Gretchen. That is so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my God. Okay, well, um, I need to work out. <laughs> so I'm gonna get up and get ready for that. Flow, we will be using the Pilates ring, the magic circle, and really focusing on the arms, abs, and booty. Your shin, your knees, everything squeezing together. So holding right there. Take the circle straight out in front of you. And then right there, just walking out into your belly. So let's hold that nice strong thing. Everyone press the floor away. Five, four, on one, drop your knees down into a wide leg child pose. Seven, I want you to see how my chest has to really turn on. Okay, this is why I shouldn't try to have coffee during um, my workout. I'm so upset. I think I had maybe like two sips of my coffee this morning. So. Love it. It's actually super nice out right now. Of course my camera's dying, guys. I don't, I don't know what's into me, but of course, that's happening. Um, it's very nice. I, all right, I changed my battery. I like should just do that right when it tells me that it's dying, right? But I don't. sent me these are so funny supreme oreos i'm gonna like keep frame these them. these are so cool that's what i said i want to frame i know them. i want to like oh, this is so cool but like i love oreos and i want to eat them but this is so cool 